What's happening, YouTube and Internet? Terrence here, and we're here on this glory. What is the best antivirus software you could be running for your PC, mobile device, or laptop? With so many options to choose from, knowing which one to buy can be a little confusing. So in today's video, I'm going to go over the top three programs, some of which are free, that can help keep your web browsing experience private and also protect your PC from ransomware, malware, and other nasty bugs. Let's jump into it. But if this is your first time to the channel and you want to learn more about building PCs and other gaming related stuff, consider clicking the subscribe button notification bell to catch all new uploads like this one the moment they drop. Do both and it'll help me grow here on YouTube and as a content creator. And for that, I appreciate you all to the moon and back. What's happening YouTube and internet, Terrence here, and we're back inside the lab. And now when it comes down to keeping your PC safe from hackers and viruses, what's your best line of defense, right? And what exactly is a virus and what does it do? A virus is simply a computer program designed to do what all other programs are designed to do on your computer. Some viruses are meant to damage files and some are just meant to spread from computer to computer. And now the two most common types of viruses are Trojans and worms. And unlike worms, Viruses rely on a user action like opening up an email or clicking on a malicious website to spread. And worms are a type of virus that can spread without human interaction. Worms are often spread from computer to computer, taking up precious network and memory bandwidth and also causing your computer to stop responding. Worms can be especially detrimental to your system because it allows for hackers and attackers to access your system remotely. And then there are Trojans. Trojans are a computer program that hides other computer programs that are meant to not do what they are originally stated to do. A Trojan horse could be a program that says it's going to do one thing when in fact it's actually running in the background performing malicious tasks on your PC. Trojan horses can be programs you download for free online or as attachments and emails. That's why running a good antivirus program and anti-malware program is essential for keeping your PC virus free. So which one should you use and which ones are free? But first, tell me down in the comment section below what antivirus software program you're running, if any, and smash that like button for me while you're down there if you're digging the value so far. And now starting with Kaspersky, you might have heard about it. A little difficult to say. I'm surprised I got it right on the first try. But I really like Kaspersky because it blocks viruses and malware in real time. And it also stops hackers taking over your PC remotely. A lot of those uh, high-end features do come in at the more expensive $31.99 tier. But if you have deep pockets and you value your protection and your privacy, go with Kaspersky. It's well worth the money and developers have great customer service. And then another popular option you have is Bitdefender. I really like Bitdefender because one, it's incredibly affordable starting at $18 all the way up to $27. It anticipates the text and instantly blocks even the newest threats anywhere in the world which is very important. It has an insane rating and best protection against infections and number one on system performance impact, which is really important because the last thing you want is to have your antivirus software in the background taking up precious system resources. Bitdefender is a really good option if you're willing to pay. It removes ransomware, um, it becomes highly renowned, and it's rated top amongst some of its other competitors like Kaspersky and McAfee. Bitfender is hands down the best option to go with, especially if you're willing to pay. But Malwarebytes scans and removes malware and other types of virus and threats all for free. It's also really good at finding potentially unwanted programs, better known as PUPS and other junkware. One of the downsides is that Malwarebytes is only on Windows. So if you're a heavy Mac user and you want that extra added level of protection, go with Kaspersky's 3199 tier. This will protect you from threats on both your Mac PC and your mobile device. And now back to Malwarebytes, it's a good anti-exploit program to protect your web browser and plugins, which are often the most targeted by attackers. And now regardless of the package you choose from, installing an antivirus program to run alongside the Windows Defender app will give you the best line of protection. And once again, if you're feeling the value that's being presented so far, do me a favor and tap that like button down there for me below. And now here are a few more tips you can employ to help keep your privacy safe online and protect your PC from viruses. Tip number one, avoid websites that provide pirated material. 
Almost all touring sites are littered with malware and your best bet is to avoid those sites altogether. Tip number two, do not open an email from a company or person you do not know or you're unfamiliar with. Most Trojans, viruses, and worms are activated when a user clicks on a link. Tip number three, if you do download a file from online, be sure to scan it using, again, your antivirus software program and scan it before you open it. And tip number four, keep your OS up to date. Developers are constantly issuing out security updates that help plug and fix security leaks and doing this can help keep your system secure and protected. And while not necessarily a tip, it is good practice and that is to make sure you keep your data backed up. That is your documents, your photos, and your videos, either on the cloud or on a separate disk. And that way in the event your system is compromised by a virus, you don't lose any of your valuable work. And that is because in today's virtual world, even the simple act of clicking or viewing a malicious advertisement can lead to a full-blown computer virus. And now you can use the built-in Windows Defender app for traditional antivirus protection. It comes packaged in Windows 10 and doesn't slow down your system and mostly stays out of your way. It is good enough to protect you from most of the biggest threats on the internet today, so long as you couple it with a good anti-malware program like some of the ones we mentioned here today. And to learn more about budget PCs and other gaming related stuff, watch the top video first and then the bottom one next. Consider clicking around subscribe icon right there on your screen and come back and join us for more PC tech and other gaming related content. Other than that, that'll be all for this one. Thanks for giving it a watch. I hope to catch you on the next one. So until then, be easy.